who gets this one? <laughs> well, you might, you might, but this is for the winner of the race over two days. We've been working with the school to get a feel for uh, what, what we need to do to fix the kids' bikes for the street races. So they did it as a maths exercise, how many tyres, how many old bikes, how many new bikes, they grafted all and all this with. So they've been getting into it for weeks and weeks. We brought a crew up, we spent four hours uh, fixing their bikes, putting new tyres, tubes, fixing the chains, fixing the gears. The feedback that we got from that was just tremendous and to see all the kids riding around on their bikes after we did it uh, was, was, a, was a really good feeling. They came and fixed most of the bikes and it's great to see all the kids starting to use their bikes now that it's fixed. There's a lot more than I thought there would be and a lot more from last year. <laughs> So with the sponsorship of McDonald's um, and Bell Helmets, we've been able to provide helmets for uh, kids that may not have been able to afford them or may not have one or may not wear one. Um, and we find it's a really important thing to, I suppose, lead by example. I mean, we obviously have to race with them, but just in you know, everyday cycling, we always, always make sure we're wearing a helmet. I think it's one in four deaths in cycling are directly, or have direct correspondence to not wearing a helmet. So yeah, simple and fairly inexpensive thing like a helmet can can really save someone's life and with a lot of kids around here riding it's good to for them to see that we're all wearing a helmets and for us to be there saying oh look it's actually a it's a good thing to wear and it's a cool thing to wear. Yeah they talked about safety um one man he showed us the helmet for when he fell off the bike and it cracked and yeah, he told us that if he wasn't wearing the helmet, he would have had he would have hurt his head.